Hello everyone, I'm back. It's Pam Esquire, also known as Your Law Intellect, and we talk about everything from the neighborhood to Hollywood. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to subscribe if you have not done so already, and I thank everyone that has supported this channel since I have started it. I want you to like, and I want you to share, and let everyone know that the Law Intellect is on. So what we're going to talk about today, we're just going to get right to it, okay? Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York City, also Trump's confidant, who is now mixed up in everything that has to do with Trump. I believe he became one of his legal advisors and started running around with this whole fraud that came to this election with Biden. But we're not going to talk about it today. We're going to talk about Rudy Giuliani claiming that he was assaulted by a man who clearly just patted him on his back when he saw him. And he has been so dramatic, going from news outlet to outlet, claiming he's a 70-year-old, 78-year-old man and that he was hit so hard he almost stumbled. I'm going to show you that video and I want you to tell me, what do you think? Do you think Rudy Giuliani was exaggerating? Because to me, it seems like he filed false charges. But I'm going to let you be the law, the uh, judge, my law intellects. New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani slapped on the back inside of a shop right on Staten Island. In the video, you can see the employee do that and then walk away. The employee's not facing charges. Y'all see this slap on the back? Giuliani says he wants to make sure that man is prosecuted. News source Erica Byfield covering She's in the newsroom. Jump in this. Erica. Hi, David. Yeah, well, Rudy Giuliani had so much to say about this slap that he actually held two news conferences today. He's upset that that store employee who touched him is only facing a misdemeanor. And he hit me to knock me down. Now, if that doesn't matter in jail time in New York, we got the Wild West here. Rudy Giuliani came out swinging himself Monday, one day after he says that he was attacked. Surveillance shows the moment that the 78-year-old says left him so bruised that he had trouble sleeping. It was Sunday around 3 p.m. when a ShopRite employee put his hand on Giuliani's back. A woman shoulder to shoulder with the former New York City mayor when it happened says that the Republican was targeted. And says to him, hey, Giuliani thinks that the store employee took offense to his pro-life stance. He says that the video doesn't tell the whole story, telling us that the blow made him stumble, nearly fall. He says that he's now in pain and battling swelling. But I'm telling you, it, it, it was a, it was a very, very heavy shot. Now I'm 78 years old. I, I'm in pretty good shape for a 78 year old. That, the most dangerous thing for elderly people is to fall. He was in that Staten Island grocery store campaigning for his son, Andrew, who was running for governor. Shortly after the incident, police arrested 39-year-old Daniel Gill, originally charged with a felony. Monday, the DA downgraded it to three misdemeanors. Giuliani is fuming. You think I worry about this little punk? I worry about this little punk for you. Because if he can come and hit me, a 70-year-old man, next thing he does is going to hit you. The Legal Aid Society is representing Gill. A spokesperson told us that Gill has no criminal history and called the charges inconsistent with existing law. The attorney also says that after that incident, one of Giuliani's associates followed and taunted Gill. We spoke to a legal expert who has no ties to this case. And the Court of Appeals in New York, the highest court, has said very clearly that petty shoves and slaps and kicks that don't cause the family. Even when done with hostility and meanness, do not rise to the level of an assault. Monday afternoon, a ShopRite spokesperson told us we have zero tolerance for aggression towards anyone. The employee is suspended pending termination. I also want to let you know this, that the judge released Gil today on his own recognizance. His next court date is in August. Did you guys see this? I just... I cannot believe that this is even being entertained. And then he may lose his job. All because he patted you on the back. Come on now. But this just goes to show you when people don't believe that people can be wrongfully convicted. What if we didn't have the video? It would have been Mr. Giuliani's word against this guy. This is exactly what causes innocent people to go to jail. Aside from, you know, other reasons we have the police, but that's that's for another video. But you do have people 
that exaggerate to the detriment of other people. I personally don't believe this was an assault. I believe Mr. Giuliani is just being extra. He's trying to basically um, change the, the narrative right now out there about him. I think he's trying to switch up so people could focus on other things so we can get the focus off of him about the whole Trump and the election issues. But Mr. Giuliani, like, come on now, sir. Seriously, you should obviously, according to this video, you should be the one to be charged with filing a false police report. And somebody needs to hold you accountable, sir. Well, that's just my opinion. And of course, I want to hear yours. Let me know what you think about this. And if you really think that it was an assault and it was just so aggressive that somebody should be in jail, as Mr. Giuliani has asked. If you haven't done so already, please like, please share, and please subscribe. And I will talk at you next time.